Merge Path is an object in the program order view of the Operation Navigator that assembles the paths of separate operations into a single smooth continuous motion. The paths are assembled according to a rule specified in the Merge Path object, either by concatenation or by contour count. Merge Path adds non-cutting moves between the assembled constituent operations. NXCAM Robotics allows robotic rules to be applied to either the merge path, the constituent paths, or to a combination of the two. In this example, the merge path does not contain a defined rule for the rail. Instead, each constituent operation contains separate rules. Constituent operations L1 through L6 share a rail position value of 850 whereas constituent operations R1 through R6 share a rail position value of 2700. Let's see how the robot behaves. Here the robot moves along the merge path with the rail at 850 for L1 through L6 and 2700 for R1 through R6. Notice that the robot moves smoothly over the non-cutting moves, such as the movement between the two impellers. The rail rule is blended between L6 and R1, providing a smooth continuous motion. You can apply robotic rules for each constituent operation individually, and then apply the rules to the merge path itself so the connecting non-cutting moves are also applied, or you can simply apply the robotic rules to the merge path, as demonstrated here. The system detects that the rules need to be applied to the constituent operations and then to the resulting merge path. If we reapply the rules without changing anything, the system is smart enough to avoid recalculating the rules. In this next example, we'll show a merge path with a complex taping head. This head contains a pocket for the taping tool, shown in green, and two pockets that hold extruders. The merge path object contains five operations. Here, you can see the position or rule is defined in the merge path, so all constituents share the same set of rules. In the robot control dialog, we see how the taping tool can be adjusted by moving the tape rotary slider. The value of this axis is controlled by the user-defined event shown here. Next, we'll select an extruding operation. The robot control dialog allows you to see the extension and retraction of the extruder tool. In the merge path, the IPW represents the tape as it's applied to the mandrel form. Applying rectangular tape to a complex form leaves gaps, which need to be filled in by the extruder. Lastly, we can see the extruder filling in the gaps.